welcome back to another video. Today's another episode of Funko News. Today was Funcon Day 2. So, I'm showing off what they announced for Day 2. Now, there's only one thing that really interests me that I wanted to pick up. And, uh, this episode is going to be a shorter episode. Um, because unlike last episode, uh, there wasn't a fun TV. Or, yeah, there wasn't a fun TV. So, uh, that's why last episode was longer. Um, if, but if I didn't include the stuff from the fun TV, if I did not include it, it would have been, um, shorter. So this will be shorter episode. Anyway, let's get into the first thing announced today. First thing announced today was some new Star Wars pops. So we have the Star Wars Across the Galaxy Ray Jakku and the Star Wars Rebels Imperial Super Commando. Now these two are rumored to be shared with Amazon. Um, especially the Ray will most definitely, and I think it will definitely be an Amazon exclusive. Um, because that's where all the rest of the Across the Galaxy Pops were exclusive to. Uh, but the Imperial Super Commando is the only pop that really interested me. Um, so as of right now, that is one that I do want to pick up. Um, but after the whole thing gets over with, it will probably be near the bottom of my list, the Imperial Super Commando. Um, but that is one I definitely will try to pick up. And the Rhea looks cool. And I do like how for the Across the Galaxy Pops, they have the different kind of special bases. Um, I like how they're doing that, and I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing announced. Next thing Funko announced was the soda figures. This is, this is the Kaboom cereal, limited to 3,000 pieces Kaboom cereal. So I'm assuming this is an older cereal mascot. They've never made a pop of this one. Uh, there's a comment there, and for the chase, his outfit's different. So his outfit is blue and has white polka dots, the umbrella... Um, that he's holding is different, this, like, the umbrella stem is blue, and kind of, I don't know, what, in blue and red. His clown makeup is a different color, his hat is different. Now, I don't know much to say cause I've about this one, because I've never heard of it. Um, but this one does look pretty cool. And now, this one will most likely be exclusive to the Funko Shop. Um, so yeah, like I said, this one is most likely going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. Next one here is another Year of the Shield pop. Uh, this is the Marvel Cap Wolf. Now, I know this one was rumored for, um, this one was rumored for SDCC. And uh, this one will be, is rumored to be shared with Amazon. Um, I think this one looks pretty cool. This is one that I won't be picking up. And, um, like I said, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, probably a very detailed pop. Um, if I saw it in person, I bet the hair, or the fuzz the hair i don't know whatever you want to call it but all i know is that it would probably be very detailed and this does look like a really detailed pop but this is one that i won't be picking up and now this one is rumored to be shared with amazon next thing funko announced is ad icons sugar smacks smacksy the seal um sugar smacks this is their original mascot and um now uh the sugar smacks mascot is digum frog which Funko did make a pop of. So um if you have Diggum Frog and you like the cereal, you might want to get up this you might you might want to pick up this one. And I think this one looks really good. Personally, I think I like this ad icon better than Diggum Frog. Um I don't know, I think that this character in general just kinda looks a bit better. And um I don't know, I feel like it has to kinda feels like it more toward the cereal um but he has like a sailor hat on he's a seal of course and he's holding a bowl of sugar smacks now this one is rumored to be shared with the funko shop and i knew this would be one that was shared with the funko shop because i know the tony the tiger the retro tony the tiger was a funko shop exclusive so this one i knew that this one would probably be a funko shop exclusive and now this is one that i will not be picking up now, I would like Funko to do more ad icons like this, and I think also Funko should have a Kellogg's game, like a Kellogg's event in Funko Pop Blitz, so that might be good, because they've done General Mills, and I think they should do Kellogg's so they can have Tony, Tony the Tiger, Toucan Sam, Lucky the Leprechaun, um, and I bet I can name more Kellogg's ones, um, oh, Diggum Frog is one. And, um, there's probably some more if I really think about it. Um, but yeah, this one it does look really good. This one was announced during the Fun TV, um, yesterday. And if you want to see everything revealed in the Funko Fun TV episode from yesterday, 
uh, go check out yesterday's video where I talked about everything announced during day one. And I think this pop does look really good. Next pop here, we have a DC Imperial Palace. Uh, we have two new pops from this. So we have Deathstroke. And uh, this one is rumored to be shared with Target. And um, with this one, um, there was a leaked picture of it. And I did show that off in a Funko News episode. Um, and I think this one looks really good. And then there's also Martian Manhunter coming out um, for SDCC. And that one is rumored to share to be shared with the Funko Shop. Now, these rumors of shared places aren't official, um, but this is where, according to my sources, um, which are the Twitter... I get most of the stuff that I use in these Funko News episodes from the Twitters of Funko Pop News, Funko Pop Hunters, Funko Pop Finders, Funko Shop Alert, or no, what, yeah, Funko, Funko Pop News, or Funko News, Funko Pop News, yeah, I think it's Funko Pop News, um, Funko Finders, Funko Pop Hunters, uh, Funko Shoppler, and Disc Trackers, um, so yeah, go check them out on Twitter, I'm not plugging, I mean, I don't know, they're good places, good, reliable Funko news sources, and, um, I think these two pops look really good, I'm not really into the Imperial Palace figures, um, which I think is a different, another line made by Funko, and, uh, they made those figures in pop, yeah, it's another, Imperial Palace is another line, uh, like, action figure line that Funko does, and then they turn those action figures into pops, and, uh, they did have an earlier line that had, um, it was Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, and then Robin, and Robin Chase, and, uh, there is a line, um, but this is, uh, the new leaked, I, not leaked, but the new rumored line will have other DC superheroes, like Wonder Woman, Superman, Flash, Green Lantern, um, yeah, I think both of these pops will look great, and, um, th these are two that I won't be picking up. Next thing Funko announced here was Toki Doki. Now, all four of the, all three, they, they're all shared with different places. Starting at the top there, we have Sabochan, which is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. And then, these next three, if you go on the Funko app, it says exactly where they're shared with. So, we have Sandy, yeah, Carmelo, Car Carmelo, and Sandy will both be shared with Toy Tokyo. And if you go onto the Funko app, and uh, you search them up, um, it will have the Toy Tokyo sticker on the box, um, because whenever you get them shared, uh, the Toy Tokyo exclusives, they get their own um, convention sticker, so that's how I know those two, Carmelo and Sandy, will be shared with um, Toy Tokyo. Then the scooter um, is the con-only pop, and it is limited to, limited to 1,500 pieces. Um, and I know this because it says, uh, 2021 Funko Virtual Con, or, like, Funko Virtual Convention, and, uh, in between, um, the 2021 Summer Convention, it, it says limited to 1,500 pieces, so that one is gonna be a rare one, all the other ones in the line are pretty easy to get, um, but it looks like to be kind of the same sculpt as the Caramello, um, yeah, sorry if I pronounced the names wrong, I don't know too much about this, but the Sabochan will, is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Carmelo and Sandy are being shared with Toy Tokyo. That is official. And then Scooter is one they could only get at the convention. And um, by a convention means you can only get it on the Funko Shop. And it will most likely sell out uh, during the lottery. Um, now we're doing the lottery system again. But that one will definitely sell out during the lottery, most likely. And uh, that one's limited to 1,500 pieces. So basically, scooters shared with the Funko Shop. And last thing Funko announced today was uh, Retro Toys G.I. Joe Cobra B.A.T. I'm not sure what B.A.T. stands for. They said it, but I forgot it. And this one is rumored to be shared with Walmart. Now I think this one looks pretty cool. <laughs> Um, but this is one that I won't be picking up. I think, though, it looks really cool. I do like G.I. Joe Pops. Um, I think the G.I. Joe Pops do look pretty cool. I have about four G.I. Joe Pops. And, I, like I said, I do think they look pretty cool. Um, but I'm not too familiar with this character. So, this is one that I will not be picking up. And I did say that this would be a shorter episode. Um, day 3 reveals will be coming tomorrow. And this picture, this picture collage was uh, done by Dis Tracker on Twitter. Um, that was one of my Funko news sources. So what was your favorite? Was it the Rey, Jakku, or the Imperial Super Commando? For me, my favorite was probably the Imperial Super Commando, because that's the only one I want to pick up.
You know, both of those are rumored to be shared with Amazon. Was it the Smaxi the Seagull, which is rumored to be shared with the Funko Shop? Was it the Cobra BAT, which was rumored to be shared with Walmart? And then we have the Kaboom Serial Soda Figure, which is limited to 3,000 pieces and will most likely be a Funko Shop. Um, share with the Funko Shop. Or was it the DC Imperial Palace Deathstroke, rumored to be shared with Target? Or the DC Imperial Palace Martian Manhunter, rumored to be shared with the Funko Shop? Or was it the Toki Doki Sachoban? Is Sabochan? Sabobon? Um, now it's rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Carmelo, Sandy, both rumored, both going to be shared with Toy Tokyo. Then Scooter, which is limited 1,500 pieces on the Funko Shop. Or was it the Cap Wolf, uh, the Marvel Year, the Shield Cap Wolf, which is rumored to be shared with the Funko Shop. And then Loungefly also has a bag, and this is a Pokemon bag down there. Uh, and last, la yesterday they announced a Tangled and, Tangled and, what's the other one? Oh, and a Doctor Strange bag. So that's today's episode of Funko News. Day 3 will be coming tomorrow. And uh, Day 3 might be the last day. Because um, they've only been announcing like 7 or 8 things a day. So they haven't been announcing that much. So they might. I think they're trying to limit um, what they're announcing. So I think they might, wanna, they might want it to go through the whole week. Um, but as long as they keep announcing stuff, you'll keep getting daily Funko News. And I... Probably won't. No, I probably won't have. I won't. Yeah, I probably won't have a Funko news coming out at the end of the week like I normally do, um, because I'd have uh, at least uh, e between three or five during the week. And without today's episode of Funko News, Funcon Day Two. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.